Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Once again, thank you for taking your time this evening to watch our videos. And uh, you are always welcome to visit us at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. And uh, feel free to write your email. Some of you already wrote emails and uh, wanting to discuss the most difficult topics and uh, feel free to send your topics whichever topics you find uh, difficult we are free here to discuss them and uh, to put the most important points in front of you before you take the examination that is the primary purpose of our videos is to help you to get through your examination and uh, make your best on your on your examination tonight i want to talk a few minutes about oncogenic viruses you see viruses they are the most primitive living organisms i mean there are prions below them below them but viruses as far as human beings are concerned they cause so many cancers in human body and it is very important for us to know which viruses have been associated with which type of cancers because ultimately finding the pathogenesis and then management of these cancers play a vital role in patient care so let us see a few viruses this evening number one on the top of our list is human papilloma virus that is famously known as HPV HPV is becoming a very, very common virus. In fact, nowadays we are testing with pap smears on almost every woman because of the sexual transmission of this virus. On the top of our list is the genital cancers that have been associated with HPV. And... Uh, after that, because of the unconventional, I mean, I should say, unusual practices of sex, like uh, oral sex or anal sex, they are also causing cancers. For example, because of the oral sex, now HPV is being colonized in the oropharyngeal cavity and causing oropharyngeal cancer in people who are practicing it. And it is also causing uh, rectal cancer in people who are practicing anal sex. And it is also cause, has been associated with the squamous cell cancer. So HPV is that. Especially its role in cervical cancer is well established. And we have CIN 1, 2, 3 stages because based on how this virus actually causes different cellular changes in cervical epithelium. Now, the second virus is Epstein-Barr virus. Epstein-Barr virus is associated with nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and B-cell lymphoma. So, especially in African countries, it has been associated with Burkitt's lymphoma. But in the United States, we, it has its association with nasopharyngeal carcinoma. That's Epstein-Barr virus. The next one is human herpes virus 8. Human herpes virus 8, it is associated with Kaposi sarcoma, one of the uh, most, most common sarcomas in people affected with HIV virus. So that is uh, human herpes virus 8 association with Kaposi's sarcoma. Next one is hepatitis B virus, the most famous in the uh, hepatinoviridae family. It affects the virus and, uh, it, sorry, it affects the liver and causes hepatocellular carcinoma in the long run. And as you know, hepatitis B and hepatitis C, they can cause chronic hepatitis and ultimately they can also cause cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. So hepatitis B virus is one of the important viruses you need to remember in hepatinoviridae family. 
Next one is uh, HDL virus, which is associated with uh, adult T cell leukemia. Then human immunodeficiency virus, HIV related with HIV related malignancies like CNS lymphoma and uh, other lymphomas throughout the body. So HIV and its association with HIV related malignancies. And finally, as I said, hepatitis C virus. Hepatitis C virus, and actually it's becoming very, very common nowadays, ultimately causes hepatocellular carcinoma. So these are the most common viruses that have been associated with cancers. Now viruses can cause cancer in both humans and animals. And uh, as you know, virus infections are much, much more common than virus related tumors. And the other point is the virus do not have oncogenic potential by itself. They are not complete carcinogens. They act through the body. For example, you take DNA viruses. They take some of the genome from their own genetic material and integrate that material with the genetic material of the host cell and then use it to multiply and to bring the cellular changes, the neoplastic changes that are necessary to produce a cancer. So the mechanisms, they widely vary and uh, that's a different topic altogether. But you need to remember the names of the basic viruses that cause oncogenesis, like uh, hep uh, human papilloma virus, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, Epstein-Barr virus, and um, HIV, human T cell leukemia causing viruses. So those are the main viruses to remember and I hope uh, you got something out of this video. So if you have any questions, please post them and uh, send your topics to us. We are always here to discuss them. Our website is www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. Thank you. Have a good night.